Okay, let's see what we have in this Autovox M1. Paid about $50 for this online. Alright, we've got the monitor. Some wire ties and, and clips to make the electrical connections. There's the harness. And here's the heart of the matter, the camera, which is going to mount above the license plate with double stick tape on both sides. And our dashboard or windshield mount. What we're going to do here first is just uh, familiarize ourselves with it, wire it all together, put some power on it, and uh, see how it works. See what kind of quality we have on the video. There's the camera, the monitor getting hooked up to one end of the harness, the other end that has this little box on it, which by the way has a switch where you can turn off the, um, the grid lines. And here are the power lines. I'm going to put this on a little 12 volt DC battery. So I'm just using a jumper. The red lead goes to plus 12, the black lead goes to minus. And there we have it. And the video quality on this is really quite good. Good color. Okay, this is going to go on a, a, a trunk mount on a 2010 Toyota Corolla. So we loosened up the plate, and now we're going to mark, because the plate has to come off for us to tape this on, we're marking the camera base for the Sharpie. Clean it up real good. We want a nice uh, clean mounting surface so it sticks. And then we'll proceed to find a route for the wire. Before we tape the camera in place, we have to figure out where we're going to run the wire. It's going to go underneath this little cover where the lights are for the plates. Okay, working on the inside of the trunk now. There is a liner that's in the way using a pry tool to pull out there's four panel fasteners, and we should be able to bend this down. Have a good look-see as to what is under there that needs to be removed in order to lift that cover up. I'm speeding it up a little bit here now. Now as we fold this down, yeah, we can see what we're up against. To lift this cover, we're going to have to uh, loosen and remove some of these um, 10 millimeter nuts that are holding in place. And there are six of them. They don't all have to come off. And right here's a panel fastener. That's where we're gonna, it's going to be our entry point into the trunk for the wire. So I'm going to remove the three on the left, this one, this one, and then there's kind of a hidden one that you can't see. We'll get to that in a second. Right here. Remove those three completely, and then the other three, just loosen them. So be careful not to drop these underneath. Just a couple of them on this side. And now we can lift this all the way up. Now we can lift the side all the way up. Because we're going to go in through this hole right here. We're going to remove the panel fastener. And we're going to slip our wire through there. Okay, now with this little panel back down, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a little gap. Maybe a three-eighths of an inch. It's going to allow our cable to come up through there, go down through there. Okay, let's take this off then and mount our camera. So on our entry point we're going to cover that little hole up with some electrical tape just to provide a little insulation so we don't damage the wire over time. Here I'm just cutting a slit with an X-Acto knife so that we can slip the wire through there. All right, now we're just going to take the wire from the camera now, actually mount it, slip it through there. And I was glad to find this, this hole here, this opportunity, because otherwise I may have had to drill a hole in there. There comes the wire through. Let's wire up to the backup light now. Take this little cover off, twist the, uh, the bulb out. There you go, counterclockwise. Okay, when you're off looking for a ground, I'm going to use the black wire on the cable. And this is the ground right here. So we're going to crimp a fitting on there and put it on there. This is like 20 gauge wire. It's fine wire.
I'm going to fold this over since it is so fine. It's good. Okay, so now we'll pull these apart. Okay, let's pull our wire through then, through the back here. tight. There. Okay, now the red wire is coming through here. And out there. Okay, now we're going to use this crimp fitting that came with it and go to the red wire on our lighting harness. Gonna pop it open with a screwdriver, just enough so you can get get the wire in there. And there it is. And there's our red wire from our harness. Get that all the way through. And make sure they're centered in there. Get those wires centered in there. Push the metal piece all the way in and put the locking cover over the top. This is optional. I like to tape it with electrical tape. Okay, that completes the wiring on this. All the rest of it just uh, it all just plugs in. Okay, now let's feed through the end that goes to the monitor through here. Okay, we're going to feed this wire through now. Um, quite a few feet of it. I think you might, you should be able to do a pickup truck with this. We won't need that much. And then we're going to plug in here our camera to this black box. We tucked away a lot of the spare wire here in the trunk. Before we go any further, we're going to test this. Flip it into reverse, and our monitor comes on. Wiring's good. Okay, we can start covering it up. Now we know it's going to work. Okay, now we can mount the, the plate. Take off that other uh, double stick tape on the other side and put the plate in place. Put a little pressure down on the tape just to ensure that it's going to hold on there. I think the pressure of the plate itself might be enough. Tape won't hurt though. Okay, I'm going to show you the route that I used here. And I mostly just used electrical tape around an existing harness. At times also using um, wire ties, whichever ones seem to work best in a situation. But I'm just going to follow this along the left side of the car until I get uh, up to the dash. Down around the corner, down inside through here. I'm going to follow it right through here. And then it goes in toward the back seat. In some places, zip ties work better. Okay, at this point we're going by the back seat. Let's see if we can find it on the other side. I've already pulled this one panel forward, so... Yeah, there it comes. to get back in there and tie it to a couple spots. Next I think we'll take this little piece off here. Okay down here there's a little clip you can stick it inside of. Okay we're just trying to feed this through with as little fuss and muss as possible. On some of these I tried to get through without lifting the panels and others I had to lift them. There I lifted it a little bit. Now we can slip it under. I think. Move 
moving ahead to the driver's side door. Let's get the straight flat piece out. These are often relatively easy to remove. Okay, so we pulled it through this center part here. Just want to make sure as I redo this panel, reposition the panel faster that we don't pinch it. it looks like it's okay. Because we're not going to worry about taping it or anything in there. Now we just got to get through this one. Okay, these can just be popped out, popped open, slipped underneath, closed, that's convenient. And now we're going under this last piece, which I've had out before. Don't be calling that, see how easy that is? Okay, so we're feeding it through here. And now we're just going to go up. So we think this is a relay box and zip tie here. A couple of uh, blind ties that I put underneath this panel right here. And there it goes up to the dash. My final solution involved running it across here, across the console, underneath that little lid. Just plugged it in then, run it up along the right side. I used a dash mount. Okay, we're going to check the aim of the camera now. Just turn the ignition on, don't start the car. Pull up on the parking brake, flip it into reverse without the car running. We can see our lines are much too high, so we've got to bring the camera down. Now we need to bend the camera down, and there's just a, a metal bracket that it's on. It's very easy to bend. So now let's go see where we are. Okay, we're much flatter now on our, our guidelines. Um, I just see the beginning of that plastic goo, so I'm going to move it down a little bit more. That's close to as far as it can go down. Okay, and there's our object to be aware of. Okay, I've been using the camera about a week, and uh, it's been working beautifully. Thanks for watching.